In one day, 72 guests arrive at a hotel and 27 leave. There are now 219 people staying there. How many people were staying at the hotel at the start of the day? So we want to know how many people were staying to begin with before 72 more guests arrived and 27 left. We also know that there are now 219 people staying there. So notice how I've drawn our bar model. The top line shows the total number of guests the hotel had, either because they were already there at the start of the day, or because they arrived. Then the bottom line shows what happened to the guests. Either they left, or they are still staying there. So to start with, we can find the total number of guests who were at the hotel at some point. How can we work this out? We can add 27 to 219, and you might need to use column addition for this, but that should give you a total of 246. So 246 people were guests at the hotel at some point. 72 of them arrived today, but we want to know how many were already staying there. So what do we need to do? We need to subtract 72 from 246. And again, you will need to use column subtraction, but you should get 174. So 174 people were staying at the hotel at the start of the day. So we have our answer, but is there any other way we could have worked this out? Is there a different way of representing this problem with a bar model? Well, let's look at this bar model for the same question. What did they do here? Well, they drew the bar for the number of people who left underneath the bar for the number who arrived. That meant that they could find the difference. So they did 72 minus 27, and that meant they knew that 45 more people arrived than left that day. But because they wanted the total at the start of the day, they then had to take 45 away from 219, which gave them 174 as the number of people who were already staying at the hotel at the start of the day.